hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i just kind of want to cover a question that i kind of get a lot from like family and just from my friends and just everyone and that is if i'm actually ready to become a parent i don't know i think a lot goes into deciding if you're actually ready to become a parent and i could say yeah or i could say no but i feel like i won't actually know until my baby is here so that's all I was going to talk about in this video. So let's go on and get right into it. Well, not dating. Well, my boyfriend, my baby's dad, is 20 years old. And I still feel like I am more mature than him sometimes when it comes to thinking about the baby and our future. Maturity plays a big role in, in determining if... I'm gonna be you know a good sufficient mom I feel like I'm very mature for my age and I in a way had to grow up kind of quickly I grew up helping raise my sister and my grandma she babysat and I helped watch over little kids so like I know what it's like to be around little kids I have a bunch of little cousins and so I don't feel like I'm unprepared I just feel like you can never really say if you're going to be 100% ready because that is a very big responsibility and it is going to be a very big responsibility with you every single day for the rest of your life. I understand that with a kid comes a lot of sacrificing and a lot of how well, you have to sacrifice a lot of things and I do feel like I'm ready to do that because I feel like, you know, I always wanted a big family and I wanted to start by like 20, so like two years later, you know. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have five kids and I wanted to, you know, be a mom and a wife and like, you know, just living my life and raising my kids. But even though it started a little bit earlier, I do feel like I'm still kind of like in that mindset to where I think I can do it. So giving up certain freedoms and things that, you know, you can't really do because you have to think about your child. I don't feel like I exactly experienced a lot of stuff but since i didn't even experience it i feel like i'm gonna be more likely to just go with the lifestyle that i have coming so now i can't really say i'm ready to become a parent and i can't say that i'm not ready to become a parent i feel like it just is something that you can't just expect to just know everything about because there's so much it's a whole another life and there's a lot of lessons that I'm going to learn from it and that it's going to learn from me. And I feel like throughout this whole journey, I'm going to learn a lot about my baby and I'm going to learn a lot about parenting and everything like that. So I do feel like there's going to be another step that I'm going to take once the baby is actually here and once I'm actually parenting because right now I can do whatever I want and that can all change within a blink of an eye. So I don't really wanna answer yes or no to that, but I do think that for the most part, mentally I'm there to where I do feel like I can make the sacrifices needed in order to be a great parent. Another question I get is how I feel about becoming a mom during the coronavirus. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really hard as far as like appointments go and everything because you know, my boyfriend has not been able to be there and it's just been kind of hard like when I heard the heartbeat he was at the, the hospital but he was not able to go back with me and just like little moments that are like special and significant for a first time dad they should try and come up with something to kind of work around that because it's really not fair you know I feel like the whole corona situation I know it's for our safety and everything but I actually live with my baby's father so the fact that when he's at the hospital with me they don't even check his temperature or try and you know because I'm sure for a lot of people their significant other lives with them sleeps in the same bed as them right next to them and I feel like that's very inconsiderate the fact that if I don't have it then he most likely does not have it either because I'm sleeping right next to him and if he does have it chances are I have it too. So I feel like it's kind of a ridiculous role, but my hospital that I'm going to are currently not allowing visitors. I did schedule my another appointment, so like a 20 week appointment at a different hospital that is allowing visitors because I do want him to have some sort of experience like that. I do feel like it's also a bonding moment to actually see 
the baby within and like see it moving and just everything because it just makes it so much more real like when i first seen my baby on the ultrasound it made it feel more real you know it's there for real but like it just makes it more realistic because you actually see the little bean on the screen movie and so like i just think that that's a really cool experience that dads are missing out on so that really sucks and i feel like as far as like no visitors and stuff at the hospital I don't think that will be as hard as the appointments because I know that the dad does get to attend the birth, but just not allowing family in and not allowing us to go out, that's kind of hard, but all in all, you know, I'm going to make the best of the situation just like I did with graduating and everything else that's kind of going on during my life during the coronavirus. Same with working and just everything everyone is making sacrifices and so I understand that and so even though it's not ideal and I would rather you know it be regular and we don't have to go through all this and he could attend every appointment I understand why we had to make the sacrifices we have and I don't feel like that's gonna play a role into how any of us who are you know becoming parents this year or during the coronavirus I don't think that's gonna play a role in how any of us you know love our kids or raise our kids or birth our kids or anything so I don't feel like it's really that big of a deal yes it's different but honestly we are in a world that's constantly changing and we just have to learn to accept and adapt to that kind of stuff so that was not ideal like I said you know I feel like we are making the best of the situation and I did record the heartbeat so that he could hear it and just because, you know, it's not really fair that, you know, I'm getting to experience all these things, you know, without him. So I do try to accommodate the best way I can for those appointments that he's missing out on, even though it does really suck. <laughs> Last question I'm answering is would I kind of postpone my pregnancy and everything else that's happened like for a later date basically would I choose not to be pregnant if I could and just like make it like later like maybe when I was 20 like I said and the answer is no I feel like if I wasn't ready then God wouldn't have allowed me to become pregnant and honestly I just don't feel like it's gonna really I know it's going to impact my life but just not in like a negative way. I don't feel like I'm completely unprepared and completely in the wrong mindset or anything like that. So I don't feel like I would take it back or try and, you know, change anything or anything about that. I don't really have much to say about that because I wouldn't, I don't know, I would do it the exact same if I could go back and do it again. And I cannot wait to enter my bundle of joy in December. And I hope you guys are going to be here for that too yeah but those are the only three questions i really had to answer because i don't know i get questioned on that a lot honestly i'm just excited as i ever was and every day comes with its new challenges and two weeks ago i actually felt it move and i've been feeling it move ever since then i'm 18 weeks today and yeah so yeah i wouldn't change a thing about it and i cannot wait for it to be born and entering into the world i keep saying it because i don't know the gender yet but we will see in a few days when i have my gender reveal so i do plan on posting clips but i actually bought a baby scrapbook that i'm working on and i would love to share that with you guys in probably my next video or a couple videos coming yeah but anyway guys thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope that it wasn't too long because i just was answering a few questions and it shouldn't have been long at all but just thank you guys so much and i know that i'm struggling to get this off the floor but if you are still here watching every time i'm posting then thank you and i appreciate your support please like comment and subscribe and before I have my gender reveal, which is this weekend, I would love for you guys to comment down below what you think I'm having. We'll definitely update you guys later, letting you guys know what it is. <laughs> Anyways, bye guys.